Harris, and I'm here with the Community Media Center in Santa Rosa for our episode of Snapshots. And this time we are visiting artist Charles Becker in his studio in downtown Santa Rosa, right on 4th Street, a rather unusual urban environment. Something fantastic happened to me one day as a teenager. I saw a painting in a gallery window. And uh, as a 19-year-old, uh, at that time, enjoying life and fooling around a lot and, and, and expressing myself with black light paint, I discovered goosebumps all over myself when I saw this beautiful rendering, this painting uh, of this old Italian master's work. And it was a very realistic still life. As a young hippie kind of guy, I was amazed that this would turn me on. Uh, and I just said, that's it. That's what I'm supposed to do. I knew that if I wanted to express myself in the most courageous and surrealistic way I, I could, that it was important for me to, to, to grasp the realistic first. For me, painting is about connection. First, it's connection with me. And then, how can I talk to you? How can I, how can I find a way to connect with with the people walking down the street who wouldn't normally stop and say hello. So to make the world a little closer for me, to make it special. I uh, wake up in the morning, I want, I want the challenge. I want to find out where I can take myself to the next level. It's, it's about uh, my worth and about what's important in, in life for me. So it's a place to connect spiritually and then with other people. I've sold hot dogs and peanuts at Candlestick Park. And I've pumped gas. I've done hardwood floors for a living. I needed to find a place, find something. And, and early on, I knew there was a connection with myself in art to express myself, to be more than I appear, to find the inside of who I am and to share it. Believe me, there's a, it's a lot of challenges, a lot of suffering. Uh, family has to sacrifice. But one thing it taught me is that love was, was what was real. And, and not having money meant, uh, meant that you, I must find something that was of more value. And I, I got that core value from my own family and my mother, my sisters and brothers. And I... I brought that with me, uh, I hope, and shared it with my kids, and here we are. I was fortunate because not only did I have a chance to uh, be in touch with myself and others through my art, uh, but I got a chance to uh, call it my own time uh, when I worked. And I, I, was, I was a softball coach for my girls for 15 years and coached their soccer teams as well, did other things with them. I was available, and I worked around their schedule. So uh, it lent itself to family life because that's the way I wanted it. They were more important to me than, uh, than my work. And I knew that there would be a time, either when they were asleep or when they got a little bit older, that I'd be able to put in uh, more of my own time to the painting. And it's worked well. It took many years to become successful. Uh, that means making a living uh, just strictly with painting. But I was fortunate. There, there's a personal amount of challenge going on every day, every day to keep with it, to find the moment when you're comfortable to sit down and explore again, because it's, it takes a lot of inner uh, workings and, and moments of peace or focus to sometimes to let go of the world around you and get ready to be inside. It's still, I still have a lot of drive to become more and more better. Find that, how deep can I go? How high can I go? How much brighter can I make things? What can I put together that I will feel that, uh, that I'm totally satisfied? There is a question for me. Or am I totally satisfied? Because if I am, I may not ever ask myself to do better. <laughs>